So here's just a little public service announcement if you're thinking about moving to South Dakota. Don't, just don't. I mean, it is windy and snowy today. This winter just keeps bam, bam, bam. It has been, what, three now? Four months of just solid discomfort. It, what? This is, why, what, why, why? Look over here where the snow has come off the roof of the barn. Look at all that. Look at all that. It's insane. Yeah, I got some fat for you, huh? Some fat. Fat. A little fat. And I like to eat the fat, so I'm being generous here, you know. Are you digging in the compost again? Oh well, as long as you're having fun. Big fence right there, around the round bales. Curious deer right there. Ah, this wind, this wind. So, you probably can't even hear me, the wind is so strong. Okay, it's quieter in here. So those giant fence panels, they were brought here by the uh, uh, Game Fish and Wildlife, or whatever you call it. Because the deer, I mean, the snow, snowstorm after snowstorm after snowstorm, and here we are, almost the end of March. More snow and wind. The deer don't have much to eat, much to pick through. So they've been just destroying all the round bales. So... Uh, there's two different stacks of round bales. Game Fish and Wildlife brought these giant panels put up to protect the round bales uh, from the deer. But... You can't quite tell because it's covered up with snow, but there's about 600 or so round bales there. Maybe a little less. Not enough panels to go around there, so the deer are just destroying it. They're, they're out of options. And so, all that hay there, what's covered up with the snow is pretty safe. You go farther up the hill and uh, the bales are just, when I try to get bales out of there, they're very loose. The deer are just picking at them. They're just, they're just trying to survive. So a couple weeks ago I got an email that said, uh, I've been watching your videos, I enjoy your videos, and uh, wondered if you'd be interested in reviewing our tool, SmartSaker Miniature Chainsaw. And if so, we'll, we'll send you the tool, and you review it. And, and I thought to myself, this can't be true. People enjoy my videos? Reviewing something? I was thrilled to get the attention. So I said, sure, uh, send it my way. And I still didn't really believe that it was uh, real, but it was. I got it in the mail uh, a couple weeks ago. I've been waiting for it to be nice enough outside to actually uh, try this thing out. However, it's it's never going to be nice again. Winter is here. Someone wished for it. They said, I want, I want winter. I want winter to never go away. They got their wish. So we're going to open this thing. This is a real, this is a real unboxing video. I, look at that. I have not opened this yet, so today's the day. There it is. So here it is. Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. Comes in this box. I think if you buy it, I think it comes in the. I think there's actually a case and stuff it goes in, but uh, you know, I got it for free. So, open this up, see what we got. Charger. Little screwdriver. 
some uh, chain oil. Battery. Little, uh, you know, thing. Oh, there it is, right there. There it is. It's cute. I think you push the button, pull the trigger. Brrr. So I haven't charged it yet, but I'm sure there's a little juice in the battery. Push the button here. So I'm already thinking about this summer uh, because I want it to be summer, but also I carry a little handsaw in the truck when I'm driving around, I'm checking the fences, uh, little branches and things like that, that that fall and short out the fence. It's good, it's good to save the shoulders, the elbows, the arms. Not for use by minors? That means you can't use it. What do you mean? You're a miner, you can't use it. Well, that's right. I mined and then dig stuff into the ground. No, not a miner, a minor. You're young. You're a youth. Mm. Do not touch guide plate with any limb. Guide plate. It is forbidden to contact any part of the human body with the chain under the working state. Otherwise, it will be injured. So, I guess that means I can't use it to cut my fingernails. Well, if you cut your fingernails, that would be quick because it just thaws through. And if you saw a, part, saw a part of your finger off, then that means that you will not be responsible for one of those. Yeah. All right, so it's very windy, very cold outside, but there is a branch, luckily, just right out the back door that uh, we can try this out on. I'm going to put a little lubricant on the chain as suggested by the owner's manual, and then give it a shot. So right out the back door there, there's a little limb we can play with. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, A great man is always willing to be little. I believe the same is true for chainsaws. The Saker Miniature 4 inch chainsaw is great. And it's little. I hadn't even charged the battery yet. When I think of a lot of the cutting that I do, by and large, a full size chainsaw is overkill. I'm usually cutting just growth out of the fence lines and things like that, usually using a handsaw or pruning shears, but uh, this got the job done. And so, do I recommend it? Yeah, you put it in perspective. You're not gonna cut down a sycamore tree with this thing, but uh, for all the little cutting, uh, I guess if you have a nice full-size chainsaw, especially you're saving wear and tear on your chainsaw, using a handsaw or pruning shears, you're saving wear and tear on yourself and your joints, and so, I like it. It's an inexpensive saw. I think you can get it for under $100 easily. Smart Saker, miniature chainsaw, 4 inch. I like it. It's nice. Get one. Get two. So, thank you to the um, Saker miniature chainsaw people. It was fun. A little something to distract me from this never-ending winter. And uh, I like it. And you will too. If you want to send me anything else to review, anyone out there, chocolate or cash, I'll review anything.